here. I am here to talk about my pocket that I like to insert in the front of my dory. Uh, this one is from last month and I'm going to walk you through making one for July. Um, and you can then make one in August as well since the month is over, halfway over. Um, yeah, so this or last month I made this little pocket um, from a tutorial that I made from personal size, uh, like a personal size pocket. And this one here is a B6 size pocket. And so we're gonna walk through together how to make this. Um, we're gonna go through, you can use a sewing machine or you can also just use the double-sided tape. Um, either one will work for this even um, if you're not putting too much in your pockets you can even just use washi tape um, but washi tape will make your edges just a little bit thicker so you'll just have to think about that uh, you could also use a combination of the sticky tape with washi tape over top of it uh, give yourself a little bit more um, security with just washi and uh, so yeah, so let's get started. So I'm first going to show you the back just so you get an idea. This is just a piece of pattern paper that I attached to the back and I made it in the same shape that will fit inside my pocket. Now this is just a side pocket and so I didn't really have to do too much. I made the sheet a little bit small, slightly smaller than the actual whole pocket but that's so that when you slip it in um, wherever you slip it in it's got some room to play you can move it around to kind of wherever you want it and it fits quite nicely inside the pocket um, you can also do it for pockets that are uh, horizontal as well you can put this just attach this differently so basically you're just going to want to look and see what your existing pocket situation is and then build your back based on that and also as if you don't have any pockets here at all uh, you can also just use um, binder clips as well to hold your pocket on and in if that was the case then you would just put like one there even and if you felt that it was unsecure you could put one down here as well um, but even just one pocket um, holder is holding this in quite nicely and if you were to close it it stays closed nicely and it doesn't come apart so you could even just use one clip uh, to clip it on to your planner to add some pockets to um, to have clips in or to keep things in basically whatever you want so today we're going to do this but in uh, the July colors for the month and yeah so the first thing you're going to need is some pattern paper and I have this the 12 by 12 scrap of paper from the kit you can also just use the pattern papers that you get um, with the planner kit as well these ones here and I may use a little bit of these as well I really like that yeah so I may use these as well as the paper from the um, memory keeping kit so this is a good way to kind of cross over your kits um, if you do get more than one kit and you're not going to scrapbook for the month or if you just have extra pieces that you're not going to be using, uh, you can use that as well. So you do need a backing. Now on this pocket there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pockets and 
sorry, there's one pocket, two pockets, three pockets, four pockets, five pockets, six pockets, and then you leave room at the top for things to stick out of that top pocket. So you're going to need six pieces that are two inches. Um, let me just find my little ruler here so we can see how tall this is. Two, three, four, five, six. So this is about six and a half inches tall. And the pockets themselves are two inches by one, two, three, four and a half wide. So you'll need six um, scrap pieces that are two by four and a half. And then you'll need one large piece that's four and a half by six and a half. So you can go ahead and cut those if you wish. Um, you can use different pieces from different elements to create all of your pockets. You tend not to see too, too much of the pocket um, except for the very front one. So when you're looking at it, if you want to pick something that you really, really enjoy here, then that's a good idea. And then everything else, you pretty much only see about half an inch of each pocket. So those papers aren't necessarily um, ones that, that need to be a huge pattern. So this would be good for if you had some scrap paper or that kind of stuff. So, and then you just need one sheet of backing paper. I'm going to use this cream colored here for my backing. And I'm just going to grab my other cutter. You really don't want to see my desk. <laughs> All right. So, in order to... Like I said, to do this, I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to cut down um, six and a half. So my backing just needs to be about a half an inch shorter, or sorry, a quarter of an inch shorter and a quarter of an inch skinnier than the actual piece itself. That way you have some room to um, to work with any and your and this disappears behind your behind your project. So for now, I'm going to use I think I'm going to use this one here as my back. And then if you ever see the back of it, it's going to show this. So this will be behind. Um, this piece so you'll see just a tiny little bit of it and then yeah so from here I'm going to cut this at four and a half inches wide and I think I'm going to cut it this way four and a half and then I kind of want yeah so this one I'm going to cut six and a half there so this bot this top piece that I've cut off could also be a pocket if you so choose because it is the right height um, for the pocket but if you don't want to use it as a pocket you can just put it in your scrap papers or throw it away so I think that I would like to have the crab as like my bottom pocket so I'm going to cut just his bottom sort of legs off and then I'm going to cut two inches up and then because I like this, sorry, because I like this mostly I'm going to cut this down um, here to four and a half. And 
Let me just put my phone on vibrate because I have a feeling that my husband is going to keep texting. So this is going to be my bottom pocket. So I'm going to have the crab on there. And then for my next pocket, I think I'm going to have just some of this. Maybe even just the polka dots. That would be cute too. So two inches. And then four and a half. Sorry if you can't see that. Alright, so polka dots. And let's see what else here. I do really like that, so I think I'm going to use that one as my next pocket. And then I really enjoyed this one, but do I want it to go this way? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so this one I'm going to cut two inches so that these stripes end up being vertical. And then trim off four and a half inches this way. So that's four pockets. So I just need two more pockets. And technically, if you're doing this, um, like this paper right here, this is the backing of that. And I do kind of like that as well. So I'm going to use two sheets from the same clipping. Oh, except I can't cut. I don't know how to do that. So I'll just trim it out. this one and four and a half one two three four five so we just need one more pocket this red section here so we're going to put that kind of at the top and then I'm going to cut two inches there. all right so all of my pockets are pretty much cut pockets are cut. So now you're going to lay them out the way that you want to see them. So I think I'm going to do it like that. I really like that. I might flip this one around a little bit so you can see that. Yep. Okay, I like that. So now what you're going to do is take your washi tape and I'm going to use this washi tape here. Okay, 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to line the top of our pockets with some washi tape. Now this just protects them from getting frayed. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Um, I like to do it just because I like the look of it. So for the top portions, I'm just going to take some washi and put it on top. like that and then fold it over. So I'm going to do that for all of these pieces. Alright, so I just finished the last one here. I'm just going to fold this over. And so now all of my pockets have just a top liner on them and again that's just for protection. Um, if you're taking stuff in and out of your pocket, sometimes it does help to have just a little bit of security, um, just so that your pages don't end up fraying or breaking or anything like that. So if you wish to do that, you can. So now what we're going to do is we're going to measure down from the top three quarters of an inch down, and you're going to put your very first pocket, which is your top pocket, on here so that the top of your pocket is going to line up with the three-quarter inch mark and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your washi tape and you're going to use it to create sort of a tip-in pocket so the first thing you're going to do is go on the outside of your pocket with washi and then you're going to fold it over and just smooth it out really nicely and then go on the inside of your pocket. Now this doesn't have to be perfectly straight, I just like using a ruler to rip my washi because it's quick and simple. So now you've done your first pocket. The next pocket, as you can see, is, oops, let's use the inch side. The next pocket is again three quarters of an inch down from the top of your last pocket. So you're just going to keep measuring three quarters of an inch down with each of your pockets. Line it up there. Add your washi. I like to smooth out my washi each time just to give it a little bit more security. If you find that it's not folding over right, you can just move it a little bit um, and then just secure the inside of your pocket. I secure the insides of my pockets that way if I am putting anything in, it's not going to run into the washi tape that is on this side and then stick to it. So I like to have a little bit of protection there. and. Now for the next one, so again, three quarters of an inch down. Alright, and so now we're ready for the last pocket. Now the last pocket is going to line up on the very bottom. You don't have to measure that one. Um, so for the very last pocket, I just like to come in and washi the bottom first. And then just come in here and I flip it over just so that I can see it's going to match up. and I match it up, fold it over the edge, and then I take this guy and put some washi tape there, just to give it a little bit more protection and to make it so that things don't stick to the other side of the washi. So there is your pockets. Now the bottom one is a little bit closer. You could cut that down if you wanted, but I just, that's just the way that I like it. I like the bottom one to be just slightly closer than all the rest of them can be nice and spread out. 
Okay, sorry about that. Uh, my card was full, so I had to go off and take everything off of it so that I could film more videos. So, um, we're going to use the red line tape, and I picked this up at Michael's, I believe. And uh, so, if you're if you're going to sew, um, you don't need to use the red line tape. In fact, I would not recommend using the red line tape if you're going to sew your edges, because uh, that will wreck your machine. But if you're not going to sew your edges and you're just going to use either washi to secure the edges or no secure nothing to secure your edges at all then I would recommend using the red line tape now I've started out by putting on two pieces two pieces of tape and um, on each one so we're just going to put it on the piece that uh, folds so they don't need to be very long just two inches and you're going to put one on every side and do that all the way up so that all of your pages are done and the next thing you're going to do is take off the tops of these red lines and just do them one at a time and as you do them then just push it down and seal up the edges so I did that with the other ones already as I was waiting for the videos to upload and um, so now I'm just going to do these last two here for you and so sometimes the red line tape is a little bit hard to take off but um, it's good all right, so now all of our red line is done. So we have all of these pockets, which is great. So now you can decide. Um, now you can decide whether you want to put some washi around each side, or however you like it. I'm going to do washi around each edge just because I love the way that it looks. And so the first edge I'm going to do, just like my sewing machine, is this top edge. Um, because I have a side pocket for my planner, I want to leave this edge alone for right now. So the next set I'm going to do is this edge here with washi. And I'm just going to do the whole edge. And because I'm only using half of the washi tape, it should just go kind of over top of where we put the red line tape underneath and just smooth it out on all three sides there will be like a thicker portion here that you want to kind of smooth out and then because this one is already done we don't actually need to do the bottom but now we need to do this side so the first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to attach this to my sheet and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take okay so I'm going to take my red line tape as soon as I find the edge for it and I'm just going to put it on this one side here sure okay so I've put that red line tape on and um, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the top layer of it and I'm gonna flip over this so that we can see this edge here and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of center it along this edge and just push it down and then I'm going to flip it back over and I'm going to take my washi tape and I'm going to seal off this edge here all right 
So now we've sealed it off and I'm just going to go ahead and pull that up nice and tight there and then squish it down on the back. And so now you can see that we do have the back piece that's nice and secure on this and then we have our front which is nicely washi taped on all the edges and it's got all the pockets in it and stuff like that so that when you go to put it in your planner you can go ahead and grab your piece that you just adhered slide it in your pocket and then your pocket is in your planner so now you have a bunch of horizontal pockets that you can use for clips and and all kinds of things you can throw some flags and stuff I just grabbed a couple of these flags so you can throw in flags flags are quite nice because they stick out a little bit and they make it kind of look cute Oops. And because the pockets are paper it just kind of sits there which is quite nice so you can just have that sticking out maybe that guy and then you can take your clips as well and you can put your clips on and make it look all nice and pretty like that What else? You have some seahorses. Maybe some starfish sticking out. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, so you can go ahead and just kind of decorate your planner the way that, or that your pockets the way that you see fit. And you can also, if you're just putting tiny little stuff in, you could put a glue dot behind it just to keep it kind of in there so that it's not um, going to stick out or not going to fall out as it, as it were. So there, there's your pocket. And so I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. Um, if you want to see the sewn version of this, you can go down below. I posted a link on my YouTube channel. If you're watching this on the Coco Daisy website, just click through to YouTube and um, the links are below that. And you can see the personal size sewn version of this tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed that and I can't wait to see some of your faux pockets. That's what I've called them. And yeah, so I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.